Well, tonight the CDC is warning people about the so called kissing bug. The blood sucking insect can be potentially deadly to people, and now a case has been confirmed in nearby Delaware. WJZ is live. Kelsey Kushner reports the bugs have also been spotted here in Maryland. Kelsey. Well, Mary, doctors say this kiss is one that you definitely want to stay away from. This blood sucking bug carries a parasite that, if passed along, could be harmful to your health and possibly deadly. It's called the kissing bug, a blood sucking insect that feeds off humans by biting them on the face and oftentimes carrying a dangerous parasite. Because it bites you and it sucks your blood. And while it does that, it actually defecates. The parasite is in the feces of the insect which then goes in through the bite and gets you sick. Dr. Neil Roy says the parasite can cause Chagas disease that can lead to heart attack, stroke, or even sudden death. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention says the bug's making its way north from South and Central America. So far, it's already been spotted in Pennsylvania, Virginia, and right here in Maryland. The CDC confirmed the first case in Delaware. They say a young girl was watching TV in her bedroom in her Kent County home last summer when the bug bit her in the face. Fortunately, the CDC says she never got sick. Experts say the bug isn't normally found in Delaware, but may have been brought to the region in someone's luggage. There's a lot of introductions that happen every year where someone's traveling, they pick something up and they bring it back to an area and you get this like weird occurrence. Some ways to keep yourself safe, experts say, keep outdoor lights away from your home, get rid of any trash or wood around your house and check your luggage before traveling back home. Shake your luggage off. Don't leave it open and then close it and assume that you didn't have anything scamper in there. Now, doctors say keep an eye on any symptoms like a swollen eye or if you have any trouble breathing. They say if you do have shortness of breath, call your doctor. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.